Email time. It's email time. Oh, man. If you sent me an email in the last 10 days, 14 days, apologize that I have not written back yet. Uh, it's becoming a little more difficult to reply to all of them in a well thought out, detailed way. And so I need to come up with a better strategy for answering your emails. So thank you for your patience. But yes, I'm going to sit down now and answer a lot of your emails. Uh, okay. Did you see yesterday's vlog about the Hoka Carbon Rockets? Oh my goodness, lots of thoughts, lots of different opinions coming in about this shoe, but all in the comments about the shoe, but also about Hoka in general. Uh, so it's exciting, it's exciting. Thank you for watching that. If you haven't seen it, upper right hand corner. And then don't you worry, I have not forgotten about the Reebok Float Ride Run Fast Pros. Oh my gosh, that is a mouthful. Uh, but basically, as soon as I bought these shoes, they uh, it snowed in Denver. These are the three ounce shoes, remember that? Uh, very lightweight shoe, and I bought them, and then it just snowed, and it's been kind of slushy and grimy here in Denver, and I just didn't want to take these shoes out in the slush and the wet and the snow. So anyway, the snow is melting quickly in Denver, and hope, although it might snow again Thursday, we will see. So I hope to take these guys out by the end of the week. We shall see. And maybe I'm just a little old school, YouTube. I'm a little old school. I So this is my marathon training calendar. And listen, of course, I love Strava, love Strava, love connecting with all of you on Demore Global Running, by the way. Oh my goodness, it's blowing me away. I cannot, I, I can't even fathom how uh, impressed I am with your training, how much vertical some of you are getting. It's just, it's amazing. It's inspiring. It is inspiring. But I first like to, I like to start with a physical calendar. You saw me inside my house writing out the training log for the next two to three weeks, just plotting it out, plotting it out, thinking, and I, I, lit, I have a pencil. I have an actual pencil, and so I'll write something in and then kind of back up and be like, meh, I'm going to move this workout over here. And the reason I actually, sometimes I, I erase things with the pencil because of the weather. And so snow is probably going to roll into Denver on Thursday of this week, which means I want to try and get as much vertical early in the week uh, for this upcoming week. So it's just interesting and that is why I like to write things out on this physical calendar and I will give you a little brief update on the marathon training, how it's going uh, and how the body is reacting to the different workouts even though it's not like it's track workouts yet but just the vertical gain and everything else. Uh, the key word today is Elton. That's right, Elton for Elton John. Why is it Elton? Well, Basically, what do we do here on YouTube every Wednesday night? We live stream. That's right. We do a Q&A and eventually we will do live interviews. But again, today, Monday, I tried, I did another test with my brother. It did not work. Who knows? And I'm not going to stress about it. Not going to worry about it. Someday it's going to work. But in the meantime, it's just going to be you and I. We're going to be talking on this Wednesday not at night, not at night, because I will be at an Elton John concert with my mom. That's right, we bought tickets six months ago, and I, I kind of forgot about the concert up until like two days ago, and so we will not be doing a live stream this Wednesday night. Instead, shout out to Europe, we're going to do the live stream at noon, my time, which is basically 7 p.m., not basically, it is 7 p.m. in London. I think that's about 7 p.m. in Paris, maybe Madrid. And then the further east you go in Europe, it'll be, you know, 8 p.m., then 9 p.m., and 10 p.m. I don't know all the time zones in my head, but so 7 p.m., or sorry, noon, uh, Wednesday, we're going to do a live stream right here in the studio. Come back for that. Okay, moving on. And this is, by the way, I am in catch-up mode after the last two days of filming, editing, publishing about the Hoka Carbon Rocket. Today is a little bit of a down day on YouTube, a little bit of a uh, administrative day. Could we call it that? Because 
basically this shoe is keeping me busy. A lot of comments, a lot of thoughts are coming in about the Hoka Carbon Rocket from all of you. Thank you for tuning in to the vlogs. Over the last two days, like there's a lot of opinions being shared about the narrowness of the Hoka lineup, the narrow fit of the Hoka lineup, the one millimeter drop in this shoe, just a lot of opinions. And so I'm trying to respond to as many of the comments as possible which means my time is a little limited as far as filming today. And I didn't get to film my run in the Beacon. And on Strava, definitely, I'd say at least two or three times a week, people are, people are asking me about the durability. And listen, I don't have 200 miles in the shoe yet, but I have about 100 miles. But so far, so good. I think one person did say after they're they're approaching 250 miles in the beacon and it's starting to show a little bit of wear and tear through the outsole, but at 100 miles, we're still good. And I mean, we're talking real good and I'm going to get you some close-up shots right now. No complaints about durability through the upper or the outsole in the beacon, okay? And I'll keep taking this shoe further. I'll get it to 200 miles eventually and we'll just keep, well, I'll just continue to keep you updated. But so far, I'm excited. All right, put that guy up there. Moving on to a couple more points. T-shirts are in, they're, they're, things are moving in the t-shirt world. I think I said mid-February. It's, we're, I don't know if it's going to be quite ready by February, but shout out to a vlog fan from North Carolina. He reached out to, this gentleman reached out to me and said, hey, I do graphic design work. I'd love to help you with your overall branding. And I'm just telling you, like, that was music to my ears. I love video production, but graphic design is not my strong point. And so, again, shout out to this vlog fan from North Carolina. He, we've already spoken on the phone and we've exchanged emails and ideas are flowing as far as overall logo design t-shirt design, all that good stuff. So that is an update for you on the t-shirts. Okay, and a quick update on marathon training. And what I'm about to share, I really don't want it to like influence what you're doing because guess what? You gotta stick to your game plan, right? You know your body, you know like how your body reacts to training and I know how mine reacts to training. And so um, as you've seen on Strava, I like to build that aerobic base ridiculously big that's why i do the mountain runs like just that not going anaerobic at all just that big aerobic base at uh slow paces and i'm okay with that early in the training block if you're you're probably you're probably worried like seth when are you gonna start going a little faster because guess what marathons are right you know racing a marathon those guys are fast and i realize that uh but i also know that i can sharpen really quickly like i can sharpen i mean i my brother and i often talk about this like i can sharpen in oh gosh like three weeks like and i'm exaggerating just a little bit but when i took third place at the pikes peak ascent i literally trained for seven weeks before that race and i think that's part of the reason why i did pretty darn well is because my legs were not shot to you know what they were still pretty fresh so Early in this training block for the marathon, I have started, so it started January 1st. So we did 30 miles the first week, uh, sorry, 20 miles the first week, 32 miles the second, 45 the third, 51 the fourth, as far as miles, sorry, I'm not gonna convert it into kilometers right now, uh, 65 miles in the fifth week. And this week I hope to hit 70 miles and uh, last week I was able to get 10,000 feet of vertical gain and I did notice a couple other people on the Demore Global Running. You hit, a, you hit 10,000 as well, congrats, that's awesome. Um, and I'm a big fan of using, when you're training for any race really, uh, but especially the marathon, using the geographical features around you to your advantage. So if you live by a beach, like you can do some beach training in order to work on the suppleness of your legs and the strength of your legs. I happen to have mountains by, you know, close by. So I like using the mountains to my advantage. But if you live at sea level, you can work on a uh, turnover because you can run faster at sea level. You know, there's more oxygen to breathe so you can go faster. So anyway, that's what I like to do. I love to use the mountains to my advantage and so far uh last week i think it was wednesday was the first day that i felt sore in this training block so it took me basically 30 days exactly 
to feel the first uh, onset of sore legs, which means, again, that being as patient as possible in that ascent of volume. Um, and what I'm doing, so I started off at 20 miles the first week. What I'm doing is I'm going to as ascend up to 90 miles per week by early March, 90 miles per week. And then I'm gonna race that that mountain run in, in Aspen, Colorado. And then I'm gonna drop back down because I know, again, based on experience, that my body cannot hold high volume for months and months and months. And the race, the Cleveland Marathon, is May 19th. And so what I'm gonna do after early March, I'm gonna drop back down to 40 miles and then climb and rest, rest, just reset and then climb back up again. Um, and I will start to add speed work mid-March. So t basically eight weeks before the marathon, uh, I'll start to add speed work. And when I say speed work, oh my God, well, okay, we're not gonna get into, the, into that now, but uh, eight weeks out from the marathon, I'll start to work on that turnover um, in workouts. And then uh, by early May, I'll be at pretty high volume, pretty high volume. Um, will it be 90 miles a week? It will be, and it might even be a little higher than that. So anyway, that's the game plan. So far, I'm feeling good. That's my update on the marathon. And if you're racing a marathon, let me know down in the comments in 2019. That'd be amazing. Uh, let me know which one. And that question of the day, well, listen, we could talk about running and running shoes every single day but I also just like to get to know all of you better. And so here it is. And I thought of this last night as I was putting uh, the juice back into the fridge. What is something unique or strange that you do in your daily routine, all right? Or in your life or in your, maybe it could be connected to running. Like something unique or strange or different. Uh, for example, last night I realized, wait a minute, every single night I go to the fridge and I take a swig of pineapple juice. I don't know, that's kind of strange. Maybe it's just like that one last injection of sugar into the bloodstream for the day. Anyway, that's something kind of unique that I do every single day. And so what is something that you do? I'd appreciate it down in the comments. Just, you know, whatever you want to share, whatever you want to share. Lots, lots of good stuff coming up. Oh, lots of good stuff coming up this week. Lots of good stuff. See beauty, work hard.